Hi, boys and girls. Miss Debbie here. I'm here to read you a story this evening. The name of the book is Buzzle Billy, a book about sharing. And I don't, sorry for the glare on the paint book. See if we can get that on there. Buzzle Billy was a buzzle. Buzzles had a land of puzzles. All the houses, schools, and stores had puzzle walls and puzzle floors. Puzzles made them all the way that way because, best of all, they liked to play. The puzzles knew that playing fair meant that they must learn how to share. So Buzzle Billy learned one day how sharing was a part of play. A lot of activities going on in there. He played with other boys and girls and shared the paints and books and toys. What fun they had with all their friends, he thought that it would never end. They rode buzzle carts and played buzzle darts. They went on hikes and rode their bikes. And on and on and on they played till something happened one sad day. Oh no. Buzzle Billy saw a boy playing with his favorite toy. That's mine, he shouted. Give me that. He pushed the boy and took it back. Something awful happened next, something you would not expect. A hand popped out of Billy's side. Look, the other Buzzles cried. But Billy did not understand. He had the case of the gimme hands. Uh-oh. He's got a lot of toys and the other ones don't have anything. When Buzzles turned to selfishness, it got them all in an awful mess. Each time they reached for something new, pop, a brand new hand just grew. This is strange, young Billy thought. He still, but still it didn't make him stop. Another hand would be a help, so Billy grabbed for something else. Oh my. And when he did, a fourth hand grew. Now that was something very new. The more he grabbed, the more hands grew. He now had 10 instead of two. He grabbed and nabbed all, up all the toys. He took them all and laughed with joy. Well, he looks pretty greedy with all those toys. Then all the children ran away. Without their toys, they could not play. Those gimme hands made them afraid. See what trouble Billy made? Now Buzzle Billy laughed with glee. All these toys belong to me. They are mine. I will not share. Mine, mine, mine. I won't play fair. Now that, all, now that all his friends were gone, Buzzle Billy sat alone. He sat and played all by himself, all alone, with no one else. And soon he thought, this is no fun. I need a friend. I'll go and find one. I'll make a friend, but I won't share. I'll keep my toys, and they'll keep theirs. He saw some buzzles playing ball. Hello, may I play too, he called. They turned and looked and saw his hands. All those hands, those gimme hands. And then they turned around and ran. He's got gimme hands, they cried. He'll take our toys. Let's run and hide. Oh, he doesn't look too happy anymore, does he? Soon all the Buzzle kids were gone, and Buzzle Billy stood alone. This is no fun at all, he moaned. It's no fun to play alone, but I won't share. I will not. I won't give up my to the toys I've got. Well, it doesn't look like you might not, not have any friends. Let's see what happens here. 
But everywhere he looked for friends, Buzzles shouted, give me hands. They shouted, then they ran away, so Billy had no place to play. Biking Billy's rode away. Aww. It's a good thing we don't throw hands if we don't share. Go-kart Buzzles drove away. Boating Buzzles rode away. Those Buzzles simply would not stay. When Billy came, the others ran. They ran off shouting, Gimme hands! And on it went for days and days. All alone poor Buzzy played. How he missed his Buzzle friends. Why did all those good times end? Hmm, he's thinking about it now. Then as he sat alone and cried, a Buzzle girl came from behind. She saw poor Billy all alone and asked him, is there something wrong? Yes, said Billy, something's wrong. All my Buzzle friends are gone. Everyone has ran away, and there is no one left to play. I have gimme hands, you see, so everyone's afraid of me. What an awful thing I've done. I don't know how it, what it, what I've done. I don't know what, what I'd begun. He brawled and sobbed and looked so sad. The buzzle girl felt very bad. I will play with you, she said, but only if you'll share with me. I, sh I sh sure do like your teddy bear. That's a toy that you could share. I think he's going to share with the little girl. Buzzle Billy looked surprised. He wiped the tear out of his eyes. You'll be my friend? Will you really? Then I will share, cried Buzzle Billy. He handed her the teddy bear with button eyes and fluffy hair and ran and guess you and can you guess what happened then? Guess what happened to his hand? One gimme hand just disappeared, and Buzzle Billy jumped and cheered, for now he knew why they were there. All because he did not share. So his hands are starting to go back in. So then he shouted very loud. He shouted till he had a crowd. Come here, Buzzle Girls and Boys. Would you, who would like to share my toys? The more he shouted, the more they cheered. His gimme hands all disappeared. The buzzle children laughed and played, and many, many children were made, friends were made. Well, yeah, look, he's very happy looking now. More page here to turn. For boys and girls who like to share, will find a friend most anywhere. And then the Bible verse says, and do not forget to do good and share and to share with others. For with such sacrifices, God is pleased from Hebrews, Hebrews 13, 16. I hope you like the story. Have a good night. Bye-bye.